I want to start with letting people know that a 5D mystic is a person who's connected to oneness consciousness. Now this word doesn't mean much just by saying it this way. So humanly speaking, it's a individual who has an integrated mind and a restorative embodied self. So it's a functional adult. It's a person who can use their left mode and right mode. And as Daniel Siegel has taught me about integration of the mind, they are flexible, adaptive, coherent, energized, and stable. And so our embodied brain, so the nervous system, which also, by the way, engages in life, also has something to do with it. That's where the restorative embodied self comes into the mix. And so five dimension, fifth dimension, when I came across it as a 5D mystic, I learned of it as oneness consciousness, Christ consciousness, the reason Jesus' name, it's not about religion because obviously we know that mysticism is completely not acceptable. I am somebody who acknowledges it and respectfully understand that systems and institutions have their own ways of doing things. So as an adult, I can understand when people speak to me in certain ways, which is not necessarily the kindest of ways being a Reiki practitioner. But it's okay because I understand 5D consciousness, again, oneness consciousness, again, integrated mind, which means I'm a safe haven and secure base, by the way, secure attachment person. So I also know how to stand up with my own unconditional love for my flaws and imperfections and to provide secure base for stimuli to pursue my own desires and values and uphold them. And in fact, the yoga practitioners that I get to learn from from time to time have expressed how the alignment with the physical, energetic, the mind body, the values, holding your values, and that body, I forget what it's called, and then the fifth one is your heart body, which is the essence of life, which I already knew about, thank you Jesus, and thank you unconditional love, because the reality is that's what I learned from Jesus, forgive them for they do not know meant something, and today as an adult it means even more, thank you Stephen Forges, who explains what a person in biological rudeness, which is yellow or red, which is adaptive child emotional responses, which is not an integrated mind, no, that is a not integrated mind, in fact, it's a mind that's gone rigid and is already in chaos because their safety behavior from their nervous system, the reptilian, fight, flight, freeze, or fight, fright, or basically we also have attach, cry for help, collapse, submit, please appease. So these are actually instigated and organized by an embodied brain, which people ignore as a topic because somatics, they don't all go and learn about it because really what it is is people don't know about people because they don't unconsciously love humanity, our own species. So go figure. 5D is used by the 4D community. And today's topic, I want to hone in for a second or two on the whole twin flame soulmates because right now we got a new moon coming in and there's paid subscription-based model content only for a 5D state of consciousness person. So you must unconsciously love humanity, meaning hugging all 8 billion people plus all of them. I'm making it very clear on purpose. Don't waste your money or your time. Because otherwise, it's pseudoscience, as our lovely IHP naysayer, I have to thank him. For years and years and years, I will. Maybe one day he'll come back around and we can interview him. And I can say, hey, you know, I'm really curious what instigated that. Because I actually, wondering what happened, something happened for you to be so upset at not even one minute of content. And I gathered that I have pink tinted glasses and that I can sound stupid to certain people. It's okay. They've told me to my face and I appreciate it. So this is why it's pseudoscience. It's not bullshit, though, because we enjoy having the spiritual, spirituality, and human elements. We who, the 5D person who uses a mind that is integrated and not based on some supernatural entities controlling anyone. So the integrated mind is a smart, stable, mature, adaptive, rational, and teachable. Does it mean that we stay laser-focused? In fact, some would say that our brains fall out of our heads, and that's okay because... We do know the earth is flat, but we also will sit gladly with a flat earther and say, I'm a round earther. I know you're a flat earther. I want to talk to you because I'm curious about how you think. And we really are. That's the part. Like we're curious about how people think because why wouldn't you be? We're all one speck of piece of energy. And our lovely said guru who gave us a quote recently about how, yes, call it a rock, call it a what did he say? Call it a stone, call it a mountain, call it a demon, call it divinity. He capitalizes the divinity because he's a spirituality guru. I'm not. I'm a human being who's talking out of my butt for some people, right? But it comes out of my mouth. So, 
the part about the 5D mystic is we have a lovely sense of humor because Krishna Lila is here, Kali and Shiva, and we all learned how to actually use our grown-up tone and make fun of ourselves with our two-year-old tone or use it still in family. Family, my family gets the nasty two-year-old tone. So I'm still working on the whining part. And you can ask my mother and my twin sister. They will let you in on that fun fact. So we laugh about our quirks and our loved ones do too. Oh, safe haven. Again, unconsciously loving ourselves with flaws and imperfections. Secure base. I know exactly what I'm passionate about. All of you. Why twin flame soulmates? We'll get to it in a minute. We still have five more minutes. So, moving to this lovely new moon that clears away da 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 everything that you will have already heard from all the 4D astrologers and people who are just focusing on that. Let me chime in to give you something that you're not getting, which is this. Usually, whatever is unresolved comes up. And here's where people who use the word karma don't really know what it means when it comes to unresolved trauma, which is looking to your own family of origin for a minute or two, just a minute or two, disengage from the transference, the charge state of the adaptive child for a minute or two, the yellow is you in fight flight, and they're already turned off, your ears are not, you're not listening to the person, and your body's already defending itself. So you're not open to the conversation, you're not open and receptive, like with Reiki, when people get scared, it's happened one time. I'll never forget because they were like, oh, this is really nice. And then they go, what is it? So and I said, okay, okay, I, I won't. Because at first they were intrigued by universal love energy. And it's normal to get afraid. Because, you know, we got people who are theologians or whatever they're doing telling people that Reiki is from the devil, which it's not. It's the energy of the cosmos. But go figure. People still don't understand that physicists can talk about energy workers and energy and energy like uh, again belief systems one thing the word energy another thing and then scriptures another thing as well and you know they can stand next to each other they don't they don't have to be denied but i can say this is your belief system and this is the science stuff about the energy therapy and okay you get to ch choose what you want to do you don't have to be an asshole about it and call me something i'm not based on your data points oh i forgot when cognitive dissonance happens, confirmation bias, excuse me. So back to yellow, which is ears are off, empathy's off. Oh, groups. I'm not part of the group. So that makes me automatically a threat. The body's in threat. There's so many ways that people stay in Maya land. And even those who know of this word and why I'm using it stay in Maya land. And when I see those people, this is when I know the right silence. Not because of Buddhist psychology, but I did learn from a lovely psychologist about Buddhist psychology and this thing called the right silence, which the functional adult will know about and will also know how to call bullshit when we see it. And we won't shame, blame, fault, or revenge. No, no, no. We will clearly state in our ventral vagal tone or sometimes in our two-year-old ventral vagal tone. It all depends. It depends on what's happening and how it's happening. But we won't do this. <laughs> Not even remotely. We'll be like, okay... My mind, my heart, I get it. I definitely am the one who can hold on to it and protect it and express it because I got a body and I got a mouth. So I will. I will use my lovely mouth, which is one of my favorite instruments, my mouth. And this is why when I was a kid and I was getting into my arguments, there was one place my lovely twin sister wanted to punch me, and it was in the mouth. <laughs> and she never could. Because my mother taught me a thing or two and to her about not using our hands since we have words and she called it to be civil and she made it so that I would tatter tail if she even tried my twin to come hurt me. There you go. And that is giving you a laugh. So when it comes to twin flame, soulmates, or oversoul, you better bet that pure consciousness, which is what a 5D person is, unconditionally loving at all times, flaws and perfections, oh, we have a bunch of them. Come on board so we won't distinguish and say, oh, you have to stay with me because we're a power couple. Oh, my gosh, you're going away. No, no, now it's the karmic person. Oh, oh, no, maybe you're a catalyst. Maybe I'm confused now. What are you? What they are are called people who have unresolved trauma and so insecure attachment and attachment wounds, which are very seriously to be seriously taken. 4D plane has no idea what they're talking about. So the, the, the talking about is if you love each other, you use the thing called mouth, and then you say, you know, we're not expanding each other. Maybe we can use some good help that helps us unconditionally love each other. But if you're in the shame, blame, fault, or revenge, adapt the child and not hearing and not seeing, those aren't considered. But the 5D mystics, we always consider only unconditional love. So tune on in for more. And in the meantime, have a lovely 
weekend if it's weekend still or new moon if it's new moon 